YouTube. So I had a request by someone asking about how to do the baked in um, texturing for that gives that metallic or a glass look for Second Life. Um, now, this is kind of a difficult thing for me because I never quite got how to get the glass to work in Second Life from Blender as well as I would like for it to work. Um, one of the things is um, this glass, of course, is rendered with the rendering system from uh, Blender 2.79 um, in the cycle renders mode. You're not going to get this same look from the textures that you upload into Second Life. So say for a glass that's simple like this, um, I might not even upload a texture. I may just tint the object and um, set the transparency. And um, give me a second and I will show you why. So here we have and my character getting in the way. Let me just move over. <clears throat> Here we have that same centerpiece, just some different colors. And you can see that the glass just doesn't look the same, at least not for me. And um, part of this is because of the way the rendering system is. Um, I can never get it quite right. So when you do this, you have to, um, I just want to select this one piece. If it will let me, nope, um, because it's all one piece. Okay, so <coughs> unfortunately, glass isn't always going to look the way that you think it should, um, even baked. Um, this glass, I actually had to set a tint and the transparency. Now you could have done a texture in the transparency, but when you bake glass in Blender, it comes out different. So, and I will give you a view here to see. Let's go back here to Blender. Okay, so in Blender, obviously, this looks a whole lot different. It looks much better. Um, in Second Life, I actually set the bottom of it to a flat color and then um, redid this top part. But I'm going to show you what happens. Let me see if I have just the... I don't. So, um, I didn't even make a texture for this one, actually, because of how it comes out. So, I'm going to go back to materials, and I'm going to make a texture. Glass. And I'm going to show you what happens when you try to bake glass in Second Life, or in uh, Blender. Um, I want to choose just the glass top. And I'm gonna switch this to an image. And that's just the top of it because I had this in two different pieces, so. Um, let's also do the base. And I'll actually make a second one just for the color so that you can see the difference. Okay. And then I'm going to apply image and I'm going to apply that base color. Okay. So then when we render this, you see that the top is clear and this is colored down here. Now, um, I have to save these out. 
So give me a second. And I may have made this into two videos all of a sudden. I don't know why. Um, anyway, um, so I've saved that one. And then I want to save this one out. And I'm just going to make that that. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Inadvertently change it? I think I did. <clears throat> I want that to be the, oh. I don't know how I did that. There we go. Okay. So both of them are saved and you can see the two different shades. I can even actually just um, switch shades here and get that to kind of that blue again. Um, the problem starts when you go to, let me actually material. Now I want to just double check something here. One of the things that you have to have is all of these pieces need to be non-overlapping. So when you make your um, UV layout, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It just has to be non-overlapping because otherwise it's, it's not going to render correctly like that. Um, now, I'm going to show you what happens when you bake glass. So I may pause this a minute. Well, maybe it'll run pretty quickly. Um, I might not have this set very high to bake, but I'll show you what happens. Maybe a little rain just because I don't have the render sink real high. But it'll give you an idea. And I see that the texture here is now blank. That's because it's rendering it out. There we go. This is the problem that you run into when you bake glass. It is going to try to show you everything that you're seeing through the glass. So unfortunately, that particular way of baking glass doesn't work. Um, there's some nodes that you probably have to set up that I don't know about because I don't do a lot of glass just because of this. Um, it's something that I would still need to learn how to do. So this is the reason why I don't bake glass. Also, um, all of these little Christmas bulbs are um, overlapping. So they're a mess. They look a mess. Um, but again, like I said, the, um, the image itself tries to bake into the glass. So anything that's in the glass is going to bake on into it. And this isn't always a bad thing. It's just you really have to be careful about how you set up your um, your image. So I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm going to open another one and I'm going to show you how that one. Okay, here is another set of um, herb containers that I was trying to make for, um, uh, let me see here, glass jar. Okay. So this one, I just saved the jar as a single color. And I haven't tried uploading this um, texture yet, but this is 
one of the possibilities like I was telling you before. So if I go into edit, you can see how the different parts are. Let me see, I need to invert. Okay, so this is all the glass jar parts and obviously there's uh, the cork lid and, and all of that stuff. Um, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it is rendered. <clears throat> and just in here, okay. And it's kind of dark, uh, but each one of these jars has a texture inside of it for what's in it. <coughs> and I apologize, my computer does make a lot of noise when it's um, trying to render. Um, so you can see the lavender has actual lavender inside of it. And when I baked this, it did the same thing. It tried to bake the textures from what's inside of the jar onto the glass, which is all fine and dandy, but if you don't have the same background, it's not going to look right in SL. Um, so, uh, let me see here. I don't remember if... I had exported a, I didn't, I didn't export, I did not export. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to export um, well, let's get out of this mode here. So I'm going to export, let's say, this lavender jar. Okay. So going to go up and export this. And I'm just going to call it what it is, an herb store container. as a simple colada. And then I am, I actually want to switch to, um, Bear with me, because I'm going to switch this out to I'm going to switch out my uh, Second Life and go to I was going to go black for a minute. Um, I'm going to go to the God, I can't even spit it out. The test grid. Okay. I'm going to go to the beta grid. Um, Firestorm. Phoenix. Uh, maybe I don't have that version on here. I might not. Okay, hang on a second. I think I have to download another version. All right, so this really isn't where I wanted to, I didn't want to upload this just yet, but um, I uh, got a new computer and I don't have the same programming on in this one that I did on the other. So um, what I'm going to do I'm going to choose faces and I'm going to um, go to local and I'm actually going to add, oh, hang on. I need to figure out what the name of that was, glass jar. Did I save it as that? Let's 
saved image. Yep, it's saved as glass jar. Okay. So I am going to glass jar. Save. This is a local image. Okay. So I'm going to apply that. It's got an alpha blend and I'm actually going to turn that down just that slight little bit. And then I'm going to give it a low shine if it even shows a shine. Okay. Um, now, it's got that little highlight in there in the bottom and the only way I can think to take that out is to actually not um, model a bottom. All right, so now I need to do this face, which is a different texture. And that I have to do, let's see, what did I call that one? I think I have one in here that's just lavender, maybe. Uh, nope, that's the model. You know, I may have actually rendered some of, the, oh, I see what I did. It's all in there. Uh, jar one, two, three, it's jar two. Okay. So then I'm going to upload jar two. And apply that one. But you can see that it doesn't show through the glass that well. So I have to adjust the transparency until, what's inside shows through, until I'm happy with it. It's usually about 30. Um, and I don't know if that shine is interfering. Nope, my shine is not. Okay. This one is the same as that. These are not really, I didn't render those out. I just made them. Um, let me see. Apparently I have an underside to that too. Did not think that I had an underside to that. I made this a while ago, so. All right, so this is the closest I could come to glass in Second Life. And I don't get that nice shiny um, appearance either. Um, you can try doing the shadows more. I mean, this has shadows on it. And obviously it's got a little bit of a gloss appearance because of the fact that it is um, more clear. You could probably render out some glass, but it's not going to look the same. It's not going to really look like glass. Um, it just doesn't end up. Blank. I'm just going to choose a random color. And I'm going to slide this over there on top. and ignore my animations on my avatar. I have not updated her in ages. Okay. 
So there you have it. That's the closest the gloss that you're going to get as far as um, you're not going to be able to bake it because it just doesn't come that way. Um, you can, like, a, like you can see that the shadows are in here. Um, kind of, you can see the shadows a little bit. I just want to kind of block this in a little bit to kind of give you a little more idea. And then I'm going to turn my graphics up because I've got them all the way down. Um, let me see here. And of course I'm in the way. Move. This is the closest I'm going to get to gloss in Second Life. And I don't like the way that it does it because obviously this should be this underside piece actually should be darker. than that top piece because it's inside the glass so but it doesn't do that because of this it just it's just the renderer in Second Life just doesn't allow you to really truly get that look the only way you could get it of course if you bake the glass but then you get that problem again with all of this is going to be baked onto it so I could say, bake this glass. Ah, uh, let me see here. Where am I set at? Sample is 800. Now I've tried bake before, and in not quite the way I think that it basically whole room before us because of the end the face of they, they, anything, nothing, if anything, or ruin it. This is gonna, I'm gonna pause. There's, bake that glass out. Of course, the more stuff you got going on in the background, the more pixelation you get, or the more graininess you get, because glass can be, can make it so grainy. Um, but it's baking everything that's in the background. Everything. It's baking what's inside of the glass jar. Um, obviously, because I had the same exterior image to set to all of these, it's it's baking everything is on the exterior as well. Or it put it all rather to all of the all of the jars. But this is the only one that I baked out. Um but that's what happens with it is it literally bakes everything that's in or around it. I mean, yes, it looks more like glass, but it only works with the scene that it's in. So now I, when I render this image, it's still going to show everything in the background because it's, it's a glass. Or actually it's going to try to show me what's already been saved. And it's grainy, of course, because I don't have, I have it set to 800, but glass is just, it doesn't bake very well. But you see here, you've got a little bit of light 
and the light setting and the shadows and everything from everything around it, all of the reflections. Um, so it just, and you can see here how it baked everything around it, everything in it everything around it all of the wood grain from behind it it's going to show everything which is why it's if it's something that you want to use in second life if it's already set to its own um if it's already set to its own thing that's not such a bad thing but um <clears throat> Yeah, see what did it do to this? It made this. So the only yeah, um, it baked the stuff on the inside. So, I mean, you could potentially use that was that what was baked um, for the herbs for the inside. So let's see what happens if I um, replace that image. Um, let's, oh, I gotta save, I have to save a copy, jar seven, okay, so if I go in here and, uh, let's see, I need to select face because I want this face and go to local because I'm not going to pay to upload it. Um, at least not at this point. Jar seven. Oops, did I type it wrong? Yeah, it's not lowercase. Okay. So, uh, seven is already baked. Okay. This is what I get when I put that on the inside. <clears throat> Doesn't look much different from the other one, does it? Except for when you scroll in, it looks a little burnt. and So it doesn't really make a difference. And since it doesn't make a difference, see, I'll do that again. Um, select face. It doesn't really matter which one you end up using. Whether you bake it out or you just use it as is, actually that one looks better. Um, <clears throat> it's just how the render works in Second Life. It's just the way it is. So there you have it, glass. Oh, did you? I don't know if I switched. I didn't switch. Let's see here. Um, sorry about that. I keep forgetting I gotta activate that one. Okay, so sorry um so there's the first one select face and then if i do the other one that i pulled in it doesn't look that much different yeah it looks a little darker on the top but you can't tell until you like scroll in And then if I change it back, it's a little bit lighter. That's really the only difference that that's making is how dark it is. And honestly, if it's too light for me, um, 
It's almost the same thing as doing this. There you go, same thing. But in this one, it, um, uh, because that face is also that one there. Um, just because of how I made it. If you did the labels separate, then you could, you could do it that way, but, um, I didn't. So then in that case, you might want to use the baked one if you want the darker. Um, just because of how I did, did the label with the interior. Trying to save on um, textures. Um, textures and data in, in world. But um, yeah, so it could be lighter or darker, whichever. Um, let me see here. Lighting. <clears throat> Lighting does kind of make a difference. Obviously, if you do a baked texture, it's going to be harder to get those changes. Oh, that's dark. Interesting. <laughs> uh, let me see here. So it just depends. Um, I'm sure there's some other node settings that you can set in Blender to get a better render. But because I don't um, work as much with the materials and the nodes, um, I don't have that information. The other thing that you can do is you could use, um, what is it called? Uh, it's not surface paint. It's... Um, Oh, I can never think of it. Maybe I still have that window up. It is called Substance Painter. Um, Substance Painter is now available through uh, Adobe. And if you like to use that, you can pay the 20 bucks a month for Substance Painter. It is an online subscription which is the reason why I don't subscribe to it because I'm already subscribing to other things that I can actually write off of my self-employment but um, I can't write off substance painter as an office executive on self-employment so that's the only problem with that one um, if I was doing modeling professionally maybe I would but mm, not this okay so anyway gives you an idea about baked glass but baked glass doesn't really work um, so let's go Next one I will do is on the, um, the metallic and I will show you a little bit about that one. Um, obviously I don't have all the answers, but, um, I just give you some ideas on how to work around the things that are there for now. <laughs> 